Hey y'all, it's Yvette and I have something that I would love to share with you guys that I think would be a perfect gift for that quilter you love, uh, especially if that quilter is you. <laughs> I have a company that reached out to me and asked if I would um, share this with you guys. And I said, yes, because whenever I went and took a look at it, I thought, oh my goodness, like I could totally use that. And I love like the design of everything. So, um, the name of the uh, product, the company, you know, everything is the Quilt Keeper. Now, I don't know if you've heard of it. Perhaps you have. But if you haven't, it's basically just a very simple way to display your quilts other than laying them on a bed or putting them on your sofa, which is all perfectly fine. Uh, but I know that there are, there are a lot of us who have a lot of quilts. And, you know, sometimes it's like... I would really like to put them in a place like maybe I don't want to hang them on the wall. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes I just want to, I want to be able to display it, but also um, put it in places where people know that you can totally just pull that down and use it right now. Just pull it down. That quilt is for use for sure. Um, so they did send me um, one of these to, um, share with you guys. So thank you very much for sending that to me. Um, but I knew, I, I, I don't know how, but I just knew that I was going to want more of them. So I personally have already bought an additional three of these, <laughs> but I'm going to pull this one out of the box, um, as they send it to me. Um, I did cut the tape on it, but I haven't actually pulled it out yet. I've only actually seen them like setting it up. Um, so let's pull it out. And then this way I'm going to set it up to show you how easy it is because, you know, they say it all over their website where it's, it's so easy to pull it right out of the box and set it up. Okay. So I, I think that, I think that they're right. You know, like I watched them do it looks so totally easy. So <laughs> So let's do this. Okay. All right. So I've opened it up and here it is. Okay. So here are the parts right here in my hand. There's nothing else in there. Throw that down there. <laughs> and then, okay, we've got a couple zip ties and I do have some industrial scissors. What did I do with them? There they are. Okay. So I got some really good industrial kitchen scissors. I'm going to cut those. Maybe. Come on. This might be the only hard part. <laughs> well, it, I think also I can't get my scissors in there good enough. Oh, there we go. One of them is gone. All right. So one of them I have disconnected, and here is this part, okay, and then I go to the other side and cut this zip tie. I have to admit that these scissors I have had for a long time, so it's not like they're brand new. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so then here's the second one for the door. And then this guy. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it right now. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, now you do get... Um, this little packet with it. So let's open that. See what's in there. I'll show you all the parts that I got. Oh, cute. Okay. Okay. How to use the quilt keeper. Number one, fold bedding in thirds to foot of bed. Wow. This is very detailed instructions. <laughs> Um, number two, slip bar under middle of the bedding with loops toward the back 
Step three, lift and carry bedding using bar, hang bar with bedding on door. Step four, to return bedding to the bed, lift loops off the hooks, carry bedding back to the foot of bed, unfold bedding across bed, remove and return empty bar to hooks. Okay. It says that you are to place the hooks 25 inches apart on your door. If the over door part is loose on the door, cut off about an inch of adhesive foam enclosed, peel off paper backing and place adhesive side on the inside end of the over door part. Add more layers as needed for a firm fit. Okay, I see what they're doing. So they, they gave us some of this, which has adhesive on the back that you would stick to this, not your door, <laughs> okay? Um, and they're saying that this part that's on the back, um, that's where you would put some of this um, if you needed it, right, for your door. Now, if I happen to need it, I'm not gonna apply that right now on the camera, okay? I'm just <laughs> I'll do that later, but just know that you do have this foam. It's just, it's nice, uh, firm foam that you would just put on the back of this part here and you could they have enough that you could put several layers if you need to depending on the thickness of your door okay and then we also have these little um these little feet or end covers and so it looks like probably on maybe on here you would put those because the other hook is really thick so I'm just gonna put the, that right there just makes it kind of look nice I guess you don't have to put them if you don't want to either if you like the look of it without you could just leave it off um so I just put that there all right now I'm gonna move the camera which means I'm also gonna have to like move my lights and everything so um that way I can point you toward my door and we can do this together okay so let me scooch over Okay, so I'm over here at my door and I'm going to go ahead and hang these over. Jelly Bean, stop doing that on the carpet, please. Stop it. <laughs> okay, now this is opening into my uh, unfinished side of the basement, but um, I would obviously want people to see on this side my quilt. Um, all right, so it said 25 inches apart. I'm not really... Hmm. Do I have a tape measure? <laughs> I mean, I think I do, but I th but since I can't find it right this second, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this over and I am going to see if it fits. Okay, so <laughs> that'll tell me if it's in the right place. All right, looks like it needs to go more. So I'm gonna put this out to here. All right, let's try this. All right, that looks good. All right, so. There's how it would hang. All right, so I did bring a quilt down. Let's just close this door now that I have that in there. Okay. And then let me check this again if I'm gonna have to. Nope, looks good. Okay. So I brought a quilt down and this is just a quilt that I made. Um, oh, I don't remember when. <laughs> So basically, if you had a bed, you would lay it on the bed and then you would fold it or you just slide this underneath and even it out. This is so much easier than having to lift it up to the to the door, right? Okay, so then you just take it once you have it ready. I mean, obviously, you know, I would probably press it or do something <laughs> to make it look a little bit better. <laughs> um, but then you would just hang it over and... Oh my goodness. Okay, seriously? Like, although my, my quilt needs to be kind of pressed a little bit, it looks really lovely on there. And, you know, the thing is, it's sturdy enough that you could totally put, you know, if, especially if you have like smaller quilts or whatnot, you could totally put more than one. You can like just, you know, put a couple of quilts on there or, you know, put one quilt and then maybe like, um, a, a bed runner or something over the top. And, oh, it's so cute. I love it. I really love it. And I love the design. Now, I definitely am going to need to put some of the cushion on the back, and I will do that. But, I, I don't know. I love it. I love it, you guys. So, I am going to um, put a link 
down below in the description and also in the pinned comment so that you guys can go and check it out and see if it's for you. Um, one of these is $39.99 and if you buy a pack of three, it's $99. And right now they're having um, this special where if you buy three for 99, you do get a $10 rebate. So um, I'm gonna put the link down below. Please go and check them out. And do you guys see that? I, how many times have I said that Spooky Scout can open doors? If it was not so heavy, he would have that door open right now. I'm telling you. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I will see you in the next video. And also the link that I'm going to put down below, I just want to let you know, it is an affiliate link. So whenever you purchase, you will be, um, they will pay me a commission for bringing you to them. So thank you very much in advance. And I hope you enjoy it. Merry Christmas. Mwah. Just a with